harmless, affluent and brimming with architectural eye candy, Vienna stopped making history a long time ago. But that may be about to change. And if some Austrians are fretting, it's because these lips can't stop smiling. They and the perfect teeth they frame belong to Norbert Hofer, a former aeronautical engineer who's set to become the first hard right-wing head of state of a Western European nation since World War II. He's got a cane because he survived a paragliding accident. A gun rights advocate, he also usually carries an Austrian-made Glock. If extreme sports almost killed him, extreme politics have made him. He and his Freedom Party have thrived on a tide of resentment against refugees and so much else. We crashed the final presidential debate in the campaign and absent from the stage are the two parties that have carved up Austrian politics between them for seven decades. One is from the far right, one is a green. And the fact that you've got no socialists and no conservatives there means that this is a completely new reality for Austrian politics driven by populism, which of course is rife all over Europe. We caught up with a clear favourite and his perma smile. If you win this election, what signal does that send to Europe? It would be a signal for a free Europe, uh, but for a strong Europe. But would you have been able to get this far if it hadn't been for the refugee crisis? Uh, we have a lot of poor refugees in Austria and we have to protect them. But if refugees are uh, doing, some, doing something which is not right, um, Violence and but so are you on. stoking the fears in this no, country? No, I'm not. I'm not. You have to divide. We have a lot of poor refugees. We have to help them. And uh, we have to divide them from uh, refugees which are doing something wrong. But you've also been saying that Austrians need to be wary. They have to arm themselves. They have yeah. to have more security. That uh, is stoking we have, fears. We, we do need a secure Austria, of course. But uh, the people don't have to arm themselves. It's, it's not are you necessary. carrying your gun today? For no, the of course not. No. How, <laughs> how confident are you? Um... Pretty much. Thank you. Smooth talk from hard right wingers in sharp suits. It's happening all over Europe. Thanks in large part to this. Clashes on the Austria-Italy border between police and pro-refugee demonstrators. Last year Austria took in 90,000 refugees. This year the barriers are going up to stem a new human tide and to contain the politics it has unleashed. And a world away in his elegant Vienna apartment, one of the country's most prominent artists and intellectuals worries that Austria has forgotten its own history. I'm coming from a Jewish family, so for me uh, it's the most normal thing to sit on, on, on your luggage and be prepared that they kick you out. His stuccoed ceilings echo to the highs and lows of Austrian history. Schubert and Mozart once played here, but Heller's own family was forced to flee the Nazis. He feels that anti-Semitism has now been replaced by Islamophobia. This is like bamboo growing. You, you, you think there is nothing happening under the earth and one morning you wake up and there is this small little crown looking out of the earth and within four days it's up there, seven, eight meters. And this is what is happening right now. And here's who the resurgent right is afraid of. Two families from Syria, sheltering in a private house turned refugee camp. They arrived earlier this year, they're all learning German, and I asked them all a question. Do they want to stay for good? I noticed that you were the only one who didn't put your hand up. Why is that? I don't have uh, uh, cover or any, anything people to, to protect me yeah. here in this, in this country. Mia Huller runs this place. She went to boarding school and university in England before becoming an investment banker. Now she looks after refugees. Unlike in Germany, where you've already had a lot of attacks on asylum homes, you know, we haven't seen it here, but we don't want to wait for that to happen. <clears throat> we want to make sure people are safe. This is a bubble, a refuge in a stormy sea, isn't it, really, this place here? in a political storm. Here in a working class district of Vienna, the storm had a touch of carnival, the final rally this evening of Hofer's party. <laughs> Mixing musical schmaltz with political invective against the elite and bruised national pride. 
What do you like about Hofer? I like that he stands for the Austrian people uh-huh. and for the interests of the Austrian people and not only for the big companies in Europe. What do you both think about the European Union? We're voting in, in the UK. Oh, I like Nigel Farage a lot and the United Kingdom Independence Party. And I, you do. For you, I hope that you leave. And man wird schon zur Seite geschoben und das passt mir das kurz nicht. übersetzen, ja. So what this lady has said, uh, and you hear this quite a lot here, is that she doesn't feel Austrian anymore living in Austria, that the refugees get priority, that genuine Austrians are pushed to one side. Whether caused by Islam, immigration, the banks or Brussels, victimhood has become Europe's new and potent political currency. Austria may be waltzing with a hard right, but it is no longer dancing alone.